I think they're completely unfair on the fans, to be honest. I think it's disgusting, really, giving people fines and points that you shouldn't have. I think it's a disgrace. It should have just been a fine. Tough for Everton, but if they're going to take a ticket this season, because you can stay up, because the other three below you are not great. I think it is very harsh. Like, I'm, I'm wondering what Everton have done that everybody else hasn't done. I mean, they've took it out on Everton, haven't they? Let's put it that way, you know what I mean? Which is not fair. Unfair on, on Everton, you know, considering you think of other teams like Chelsea and City that are obviously under investigation, I think it's pretty unfair. All the other teams are getting away with it. Chelsea have done it, Man City have done it. Why are they getting away with it? It just seems like they're just picking on Everton for no reason. Well, fans campaigned hard to change things with the club, change ownership, change the way it's being run. Because you've seen a lot of uh, points deductions in other teams that have ruined the club for sort of 10, 15 years, like Bolton and Newton and everything else. Bill Kenwright sadly no longer with us. He's not answerable to the charges, is he? Um, Farhad Mashiri on his way. He's not going to answer to them. So it's the fans who suffer, and it wasn't the fans who caused all of the bother in the first place. Seems unfair. Unfortunately, they just get back on their feet. They're winning games, and now they are uh, got a 10-point deduction to defend off, and let's say other clubs haven't had that. But obviously, because of how historic they are, hopefully they stay in the Premier League. Even though I'm not an Everton fan, it, it'd be sad to see him go. And probably as a Leicester supporter, we might have stayed up if Everton had been had the points last year. I mean, I think Everton had one charge. City have got 117. Yeah. So you do the simple maths on the back of that. City could be back in the league too, you know. But, but I've got no faith that that will actually happen. Well, why have they done this to Everton? And, and like it's been going on about Man City for how long? Over like two, three years, isn't it? Now with Man City, and still nothing's being done to them. This now, if this gets upheld, then any other team is just gonna, they're just gonna have pen, they're just points. It's got to be done. It's got to be done. It's one of those things that you know, money obviously makes a big difference. But it's, um, other places like Barcelona as well, they've had the same thing. They you know they don't want to be touched by anybody either. City get 115, but theirs could take up to four years before it's even sorted out. And it probably won't get sorted out. Not long ago, they could have got banned from Europe and then obviously they won the Champions League last season. Um, it just shows just how fair it is. Do you go back and take Premier Leagues off them and give them to Liverpool? There's, there's no point then. There's no, we don't cheer that, that we've won that. Um, but if they were to, you know, Juventus got relegated, didn't they, for, for all kinds of stuff. So if City and Chelsea got relegated, you know, that'd be great news, be fun. I think there's enough if we keep our first 11 fit and healthy. I think we can, yeah. Um, I don't think the Premier League's the strongest it's ever been this year. So I think we've got a decent chance. It'd be funny for one season, but it will be terrible for County Road and, and you know, Kirby and all places like that. And so many pl people rely on that. Taxis, chip shops, pubs. It would just be bad for the city, but it would be really funny for one season. Because then there'd be no derby game then, is there, you know what I mean? So, like, I just open off for that sake, you know what I mean? Because it'll spoil the football game. They've got a few quid. January window comes up, they'll buy a couple of players they too, they'll be safe. I reckon, anyway. I don't know. Too much for a big club to go down. I've got a big fan of Sean Dyke. I like, I like what he's done. Um, so hopefully they'll have enough momentum to sort of keep it going through their season and it may be the fact that they'll rely on other teams not being as good. It'd be a shame because an old club, you don't see them relegated. Only second bottom aren't they I think, but they're only a couple of points from safety. Uh, they can string a couple of wins, obviously they go straight back out of the relegation zone. I, th I think they definitely have enough quality in the squad. They'll stay up, 